My name is Christopher Lovejoy. I'm a medical doctor and a data scientist based in London. And for the last year, I've been running machine learning for healthcare courses in London. And I'm also the lead tutor of the UCL short course, uh, Machine Learning for Healthcare. I started these courses because when I embarked on my own journey of learning about machine learning in healthcare, there weren't really any resources that were aimed at people from a healthcare background. So I kind of had to learn the hard way by doing courses that were predominantly aimed at people from maths or computer science backgrounds. After running these in-person courses, I've decided to record them all as videos just to make them more available to people um, who aren't necessarily kind of bound by geographical location. In this next series of videos, I'm going to talk about why healthcare professionals should think about learning machine learning, what exactly machine learning is, what the different techniques are, and how does the machine actually learn, what are neural networks, what is deep learning, and what is this whole hype around that area, how can we assess the performance of machine learning models, and how can we assess their clinical impact, how can we read and understand research papers applying machine learning to healthcare, and also how we as healthcare professionals can contribute, whether that's through startups, through academia, uh, or in other ways. I'm hoping that these videos can be a good first point of call for people who are coming from a healthcare background and who are interested in machine learning but haven't really had any kind of formal education in it. I'm hoping that the videos can provide a foundational understanding which if you're not that interested in machine learning you can just take that away whereas if you then want to um, kind of learn more that can act as a springboard to then go on and, and learn more and start contributing more to the area. So I hope these videos are helpful to you whether you're just trying to get a taste of machine learning, whether you want to apply that to your research, whether you're looking at getting involved in startups or in companies applying machine learning or just for personal interest. So in recent years, we've seen an exponential rise in the amount of research applying machine learning to healthcare. We've seen record amounts of funding going to academic institutions. We're seeing a whole host of companies start up all uh, kind of centered around applying AI to healthcare. And we've had some pretty big names from the machine learning and AI space saying that uh, radiologists only have five or maybe 10 years left, that 80% of doctors are going to be replaced by 2035. And a lot of studies being published all saying that AI is going to replace doctors in one domain or another. But what exactly is AI? And what is its role in healthcare going to be? And as a healthcare professional, what should we know if we want to understand the area or if we want to maybe contribute in certain ways? So to start off, I want to consider the question of, you know, why should you learn about AI machine learning? Why, why does it make sense for someone from a healthcare background to start learning about machine learning? For me, there are two main areas. The first is that I genuinely believe it will help you in your role as a medical professional. And the second is that I think it's a really great area for certain types of people to get involved in something that's really exciting and has a lot of potential for um, kind of scaling up the positive impact that you can have through your career. So in terms of the first area of helping you directly as a medical professional, I think firstly, it just comes down to being able to understand these tools that are being used and are increasingly going to be used in healthcare um, because I believe that over the next several years, we'll start to see more and more machine learning models being developed and being used in healthcare. And ultimately, as clinicians, we want to be able to understand and interpret those so that we can make decisions and so that we can communicate those findings with patients. For example, as clinicians, right now, we already tend to have a pretty good understanding of like sensitivity and specificity. Um, so when we order some blood tests, we know, for example, if a D-dimer is raised, we're not kind of immediately expecting that they definitely have a pulmonary embolism, but you know, we know it's a possibility, so we kind of maybe want to investigate that. Whereas there's certain other tests that are a bit more specific, so actually if they're raised, we might be really worried that there's a certain type of diagnosis. And with machine learning models, it's a similar sort of principle. So sometimes the model will raise certain flags um, and suggest certain diagnoses, but we want to be able to understand the same sort of things of this sensitivity, the specificity, but then there's other things as well we want to be able to understand. So things like the F1 score, things like the AUC score. Um, and there's a couple of videos in this series that I'm going to do kind of specifically delving into these performance metrics. I think ultimately it's important to be able to understand those because then if those models and the outputs from those models are being incorporated into clinical practice, we want to be able to understand how do we interpret these models and how do we make decisions and as I said, how do we communicate that to patients. I think it's also important to understand machine learning because as these things are being more and more implemented into clinical practice, uh, there's going to be a lot of kind of policy decisions made about whether or not to implement something and how it's implemented and being clinicians who kind of understand the technology and understand how it's being applied, this will help us to contribute to these discussions uh, about you know, how we want this technology to be used. And ultimately, it's going to be a very disruptive technology for healthcare. So having more healthcare professionals who really understand machine learning and are able to contribute to those discussions is something I think would be really valuable. Um, and it will just help us to kind of guide the safe and effective implementation of these algorithms into clinical practice for the benefits of patients and for the benefits of us as doctors as well. And in terms of the second set of reasons of expanding your positive contribution that you have through your career, machine learning being applied to healthcare is one of the most active and exciting areas of research at the moment. Because the technology is relatively recent, we've only 
really had the amount of kind of computing power and data and algorithms around for maybe five or 10 years, there's a lot of low hanging fruit that just hasn't been done yet in healthcare. So for somebody who wants to maybe do some research or create a company that enables them to really scale up their impact, there's a lot of potential within this area of machine learning and particularly at this exact moment in time. And in terms of professional opportunities, it's, it's pretty attractive because if you're somebody from a healthcare setting who knows machine learning and has a decent understanding of that, then it makes you very attractive for companies, for startups, um, for certain types of research groups to then kind of bring you on board. Uh, and it actually opens just a lot of doors for you. And that's something that I have personally found, I guess just to share a bit of my personal experiences. I've been kind of self-educating in machine learning, uh, maybe started around like three years ago, initially started with online courses, uh, then worked at a startup for just over a year, um, working on applying machine learning to a healthcare problem. And then most recently, I've just done a master's degree in machine learning at the computer science department at UCL. And definitely I'm now finding that there's a lot of doors that are kind of opened up to me as someone from a healthcare background who understands machine learning. Quite often I will get approached by a research group or maybe by a company who is looking for somebody who understands both machine learning and medicine. Typically these groups, they'll be able to find people who are clinicians, they'll be able to find people who are really great at machine learning, but it's much less common to have somebody who really has you know, a solid grounding in both of these areas. With that being said, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that everybody who's a healthcare professional learns about machine learning. I think there's certain types of people that it appeals more to. And in general, these are people who are maybe a bit more kind of techy, uh, interested in computing, maybe interested in maths, perhaps people who are more entrepreneurial and are interested in maybe starting their own company or working for startups, working for other companies, doing consulting or those sorts of things. And perhaps just people who are kind of a bit disillusioned with medicine and want to explore another area. And also I would say people from a research background who just want to scale up the kind of scope and impact of their research, because definitely the direction that a lot of research is heading is now towards the incorporation of machine learning techniques. For people who don't necessarily fit into those categories and who are maybe you know not as enthusiastic about learning about machine learning I think there's still a value in kind of getting a basic literacy um, but I'm not saying that you definitely should absolutely go and kind of delve deeper into it. Obviously machine learning is kind of said to be the next big thing and there's a lot of hype about it but it doesn't mean that absolutely everybody has to get involved into it uh, in my opinion and what I'm going to try and do in this video series is give that foundation so if you're somebody who's kind of interested you could maybe follow this video series, read some of the other resources that I suggest, and maybe that would be enough for you and you don't need to delve into things um, much deeper. But if you're one of the people who are interested in the area, then hopefully this video series can be a springboard to then kind of go on and do further courses and read more and get more and more grounded in machine learning. So that being said, in the next video, we're going to begin with the fundamental question of what exactly is AI and machine learning and what has it got to do with healthcare?